time to die. I don't even want to hold that. I'll confuse it for chaotic and then just turn myself into a sheep hoping for a worm. We have some fire bolts. This ain't good. There's another. There's not a way through over here. Is there? So, yeah. Darn. Although, maybe we can use this. Seems a bit more effective than Firebolt. A lot of wands. Definitely better than Firebolt. Yeah, it used to be you'd almost want to go there regardless, on like just a regular run. Go there regardless of anything, because you'd get the choice of three pretty good wands. And didn't they do away with that that boss inside the skull entirely? I don't know, it's been so long since I even tried to get at that guy. That's a mimic. That's, uh, okay. Yeah, the skull before the temple, you used to be able to make a hole in it and fill it half up with water and it would spawn kind of another temple boss. There's our boss killer. See if this digs well. Does it? Kind of. Would have been nice to dig a little faster than that, though. Uh oh, 5 HP. It's a bunch of poly in the turret, eyeing him out. What a dodge. What a dodge. Oh yeah, so I haven't filled up the thing with water since it's, it used to spawn a boss. Or a mini boss. Why did all the snow melt? What did I miss? Something happened. It's great for the lag. <laughs> oh jeez, that sniper from the left. Yeah, that might have changed about the same time. Uh, about the same time that they put like the cursed rock in between the parallel worlds or the dense rock. I forget what it was. They made it massively more difficult to go to the parallel worlds where it used to be pretty darn easy. 
and you just needed any so you could get through with a like a regular digging spell. But uh, I actually came to the observation earlier today that I'm the worst person to ask about, you know, any sort of area of the game or any anything like that. Because I basically only play the first, you know, five to ten minutes of the game. <laughs> and then nothing before, or nothing after. This is my favorite kind of wand. Although I like the one where it's like a teleport shot. But it's like the remote chainsaw hit. Oh, this is a shuffle? No? It's a trigger? It should. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Got him. Then he's gonna get me. <laughs> Well, you know, supporting local business is as good a, good a reason to buy a game as any. I'm a little bit biased in that I prefer American developers, but it seems like a lot of the American developers are shit and sold out to China anyway. give it a shot. No, the bomb's gonna just roll way too far, isn't it? That was an interesting bit of physics there. <laughs> Had access to the wand all along anyway. Now, most of my local business purchases are in, like, in my city specifically. All, all the little things, though. There's unfortunately not a local game dev where I live. Oh, I didn't realize I was on fire for some reason. That's the best kind of game. There's a few of them out there like that. I kind of feel like Prison Architect was was a game like that. I think Factorio was a game like that. Spelunky. The Binding of Isaac, I guess, was like that too, wasn't it? That's not worth it at all. <laughs> Just a regular spark bolt and whiskey. Yeah, that's that used to be the way games were made at all. Like, uh, like Populous, Civilization, SimCity. Just kind of people who just wanted to make something fun for themselves. And figured a way to sell it.
I've got a little pet. <laughs> Too bad he didn't come with me through there. Can I buy the chainsaw wand now? I had choices of chainsaw wands. We'll turn ourselves into Cyclops. No, no, please, please, let me through. Um, the chainsaws will break ice, won't they? Why doesn't Cyclops vision change to break the ice? He shot my bomb. Alias ghosting was too. <laughs> Hey now, it's just a, it's a friendly division in what we think the rules ought to be. And I'm going to turn into a worm, or not. Try again. Frog. Might be one of the worst. It smells ionized. I'm on fire and I'm polymorph. I think this run is probably doomed. Uh, yeah. We'll restart it. Chest? Heart? Hmm. Could have been worse. So, of course, main route, we get over to the shaft, we drop down. Hopefully, we get a good kick. Nope, that was a bad kick. Bad kick on the bad wagon. Vaguely down, but mostly over. And now mostly down and vaguely over. Kind of sucks that we've not, we're not getting very much of a down route. That bomb went way too far away. Oh no. Oh, you know what I should have mentioned in that list of things before? Stuff like Cataclysm, DDA, and, uh, and, uh, NetHack and whatnot. People are still still working on those games. Green man, leave me alone. If you played NetHack, you you might like Cataclysm. I'll try putting the bomb in the right place this time. Oh, that was definitely the wrong place. the heat-seeking missiles again.
and Dwarf Fortress. My god, Dwarf Fortress is the epitome of, like, a labor of love video game. That blasted me through the wall. I thought that wall was gonna stop me, or stop the explosion. I didn't need to take all that damage. You know, now that they're actually trying to make a Steam release of uh, of Dwarf Fortress, and you have uh, you know a, a small development company trying to help them out with the look and feel of it, I think it'll actually become much more accessible w without sacrificing you know what the game is, and especially now that they have like villain story arcs with you know proper. Like, you don't have to role-play a lot of the interesting stuff. The interesting stuff actually happens in-game now. I would like them to develop adventure mode a little bit more. And they have a bit. Like, you can start out in adventure mode and build up a little kind of single-person fort. And then, uh actually reclaim it with a proper fort too. Let me go straight down here. Oh, what a ripoff. 